Dragon Fireflies, and I want to share with you my um, new altar setup. Since it is no longer Ostara and it's kind of past the Ostara energies, oh, I'm sorry for my camera being shaky. I'm trying to figure out a new way to hold it because I got a new case, and it's like the flip out kind. So, like, it's kind of an awkward position to hold it in. But, anyways, um, so. I brought out my Green Man altar cloth, and this is the altar cloth that I use for Beltane every year, um, or at least since the last year when I got it. And the reason why is because while Beltane is um, also a fertility celebration, same as Ostara, I feel like it's like, oops, sorry, that's my finger. Um, I feel like it's the most, and I'm sorry for the camera shaking so much, I'm just trying to hold it differently. Um, while it is like... Ostara is the other fertility thing. I kind of got my mind off track. Um, Belhain is more of the full bloom of spring. Like, if you guys can see outside my window now, I don't know how all that shows, but things are blooming there. And, um, like, Ostara, technically in bulk, is the beginning of, um, you know, the first stirrings in the earth when things start to pop up. But Ostara was like, the turning point when things really turn from uh, winter to spring and then um, Beltane is just when things are like in full bloom and it's like like spring power it's just yeah everything's out there and energy's great and it's awesome and I really love how that's reflected in the green man alder cloth as you can see there's like the imagery of the leaves all sprouting out and flowers in bloom and it's also green which is earthy and obviously the green man is an earth thing it's got like celtic stuff on it I'm just like yes I love this off the cloth, and I love um, just the feel of it that it brings for Beltane. Um, this is obviously not my Beltane altar setup, but it's the altar cloth, and I just want to discuss that while you guys can actually see the altar cloth, because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for Beltane, like how it's going to be set up, but um, yeah, you probably won't be able to see most of this when it comes time for Beltane. So other than that, um, the elementals are just in their place. As usual with their crystals and the illuminator candles um, pentacle is underneath here, that and my three garnets there um, yeah god and goddess statues from working candle on the back these are still my star candles I just kind of flip them around because I don't really have any place like um, placement candles for right now until Beltane. I don't even know what candles I'm gonna do for Beltane yet I should probably figure that out um, <laughs> so yeah um, it's about it. It's pretty straightforward for now. This is basically what my altars are like in between the holidays. Like, it's just something, like, airy and simple and just kind of there and just still kind of reflects the energies of the season. And that's really what I wanted. Cleansed out my space today. Girl Squad should be coming over at some point today. So, yay. Um, I started to redo my maypole. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just... The white there. It was silver last year, and that's because I didn't have white spray paint. So um, the only thing I had was silver, and I don't really like the silver. And also, it wasn't very well put together last year. I like taped on the ribbons. I'm like, uh, no. I have time this year to actually like get stuff done before Beltane. So I'm gonna fix up my maypole, probably do some cute decorations on it, and find a good way of attaching those ribbons. So yeah, um, that should be a fun craft, and I shall show it to you when that gets finished. Um, but yeah, I will show you the other altars. They haven't updated just a tad bit. Like, again, they don't really change too much. There's my daffodil. Um, and yeah, just the shell over there has become a, like an offering dish to Aphrodite. Uh, there's the rose quartz, obviously, and yeah. Stuff just doesn't get shifted around too much. Like, there's only so much you can do with the things that you have and the small amount of space. Um, but yeah, hi. So yeah, there's that. And then Hecate's again. I'm pretty sure I already showed this one. Um, it's the same as last time. But I just, I love this altar so much. I think just, it's perfect. And I love it. And there's my jewelry. So yay. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And goodbye and blessed be. So I can get the camera to shop staking. Shop staking? Just stop shaking. Cannot talk today. I don't think I've had enough coffee. Bye.